Hi guys, what's up? I'm Isabel Crivetti. I play Bryn. And- hey, my name is Myra Malloy. I play Quinn. Hey, I'm Annie Jacob. I play Nisha, and he's all that. And let's get buzz and action. We're live here, and surprise, we're on the set of my boyfriend's brand new music video. Jordan, what are you doing? Okay, let's not freak out. What are you doing? We're over, okay? Touch it. What? You're still alive. Oh. Hey. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hey. hey. Congratulations on the new film. How are you each feeling as it's about to drop on Netflix? Excited. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, we're pumped for it. I'm really excited to see everyone's reaction. Yeah. Yeah. It feels so surreal because we finished filming it at the end of 2020. And now it's like, God, we're in August now and it's coming out this month. So it's like, wow, it's real. It's real, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a long time coming. How well did you each know the original film? Um, well, I had like, honestly, recently-ish heard about it. Like, I watched the film because I heard about it and then and then I got the audition. So I was like, I had just been introduced to it. That's awesome. What about you two? Um, well, I'm a huge fan of Rom. So I've always heard about, I mean, I've seen the show, And so when I heard news that they were doing a remake, I was like, cool. And yeah, it's just an honor to be a part of. Um, yeah, I uh, I had heard about it. I, I heard about Rachel Lee Cook and Freddie Prince Jr. and I saw clips of it and they're so great. Their chemistry is so great. Um, and then, you know, Matthew Lillard from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, when I got the, when I got um, the project, I watched the, the movie in full and I was just like, a lot of pressure. This is really good. It's a good classic. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really feel that pressure? Yes. <laughs> I mean, even as, even as someone who's like a huge fan of it and like has seen it, like you do feel the pressure because it's loved by so many. So you really want to do it justice and you don't want to like let anyone down, which is impossible, but you still want to do your best. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time, yeah. you guys aren't just remaking the film. You are really having almost like a read like a, a new version of it, you know what I mean? Because you're telling a kind of different story along the same lines. So besides the obvious gender swap, how else does this movie tell a new story about the high school experience? Um, I would definitely say because it's set in like a modern time. So you've got like social media and all of that like mixed into the story as well. Like just how modern high school is, which it's it's changed a bit. I mean, I am in that modern high school, so I can say yes. it's a bit different. But we should have, yeah, I was going to yes. say, the professional here, Isabella, who is indeed I in am, high school. <laughs> yes. <laughs> First hand. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah, it's like definitely like um, the idea of not just being authentic um, in person, but now it's like being authentic on social media as well, you know? And, yeah. yeah. I agree. And also like, that's I don't like my- know, like, <laughs> Sorry. I don't know, kid, you felt this in high school, but like, I don't know if you still feel, feel this now, Isabella, but like, you felt the need to like conform a lot and just like fit in. And I feel like it's added pressure now because you also do that on social media as well. Like, I don't know if you agree with that, but I definitely I feel def- like that must be a thing. Yeah, I know what you mean. I felt that, I feel like I felt that more in like middle school where I was still kind of mm. figuring out my stuff. Like, I need to be like everybody, like that kind of stuff. Um, but no, I'd say like, especially with the pandemic, I only had like year and a half, my freshman year of high school and then like, bam, pandemic. So like it was kind mm. of on the screen for a lot of it, but I still had that experience and it's definitely like, I don't even know, man, I don't even know how to explain <laughs> high school. It's a complicated time. Um, what was your experience like when you were in high school and you were kind of getting used to the social media aspect playing into your school days. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely, I feel like I got, in, so Instagram has always been like the biggest one I use. Mm-hmm. I feel like I got it when it like first came out and you know, all those like extra filtered photos. Like if you scroll back to the beginning of everyone's feed from like 10 years ago, I don't even know, but I had it from such a young age. And obviously like back then when you're so young, You're just like sharing whatever, you don't really care. But as it became a bigger platform and social media became a bigger part of life itself, I definitely felt the pressure to 
present myself in a more presentable way on social media and it was just like especially going to high school and like seeing the other girls and just being like oh damn like I really need to step up my game I really need to like you know put on makeup or like wear certain things and I would say I was a pretty impressionable kid so yeah it was pretty brutal for me but as an adult I hope that I, I think that I've changed. <laughs> Yeah, you changed <laughs> along with the normal rules that we all learned as social media was developing. What about you, Annie? What was your experience with social media? Um, for me, social media really, it wasn't so much for like me to put myself out there. Like I didn't really see it as a tool for that, but I, so I went to boarding school, an international boarding school. So I used it as a way to keep in touch with everyone. Like it's really easy to call someone or um, to talk to them over like a social media app without having to worry about long distance calls and stuff like that. So that was like my big thing. Like I, I may have gone through a little phase of like, I'm a professional photographer. Like everyone must look at my photos, but I was like, you know, really private. Of it um but then it wasn't until like i really got into acting like a producer from another project was like you need to go you need to make it public you need to like really let people get to know you and i was like mm. but this movie was great because it really opened my eyes to social media meeting a bunch of people who are heavily involved in social media and um and a lot of friends told me they're like you know it's really important for people to see someone of an indian background who's an actress like putting you know working and putting herself out there and i was like oh this is a lot of, this is important. I should use it. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. And you were starring right alongside one of the biggest social media stars today, Addison Ray. Did she teach you a thing or two about how to improve your own pages? A lot. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, I, I was... Don't hear them. <laughs> well, um, I think what I asked her actually about this, cause I saw we were sitting in our cast chairs in between uh, our Addison and I's scene. And she was like scrolling on TikTok and I was like, I was like, hmm, you know what? I'm just gonna ask her. Hey, Addison, do you have any advice? I literally asked her like, do you have any advice for TikTok? And she said, um, post a lot. That's kind of what she said. Just like post a lot, just get yourself out there and like kind of your own true personality. And then she also taught me a TikTok dance, which I posted on my TikTok. That was an experience. <laughs> well, but yeah. on that note, Isabella, considering the cast has over 320 million combined followers, which is literally insane, y'all. How yes. many TikToks were made in the making of this movie? Oh my gosh. Oh. Actually, <laughs> what? No. we made quite a bit. Well, we made quite a bit for the movie. Yeah. Not oh, like yeah. really for the movie. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about those. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't think there was that many, but like for the movie, we were making TikToks. Yeah. yeah. We were mostly focused though, like on work half the time. Yeah. We didn't get, yeah. yeah. Well, some of the most fun TikToks are the TikTok dances and you guys got to do a super fun dance off during the prom night scene without giving too much away. How much fun was that day on set? One of the best. <laughs> like I had a blast. Huge fan of Jamil, um, the choreographer. Um, just dancing and having fun with everybody. Ugh, I want to do it again. <laughs> I, really I feel like we should learn the dance and make it like a trending TikTok <laughs> dance challenge. Yeah, honestly, but he's all we'll that. We'll have challenge. to talk to Addison with about that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say. I, yeah, I don't think her. I remember it. <laughs> I don't think I remember. If I'm gonna we be honest with you, it to you, it's fine. Thank you three so much. You guys were great today. I appreciate your Thank time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Things with Padgett may have gotten a little more complicated than I thought. So kiss.